Hello guys, it's me Karthik. Hope you guys are doing really good. So we are learning the squad schedule, right? So uh, in our previous videos, we have learned how to create a jobs by implementing the you know job interface, and we have used scheduler uh, methods like start and shop. Okay, uh, and in order to schedule a job, what we need to do is we need to schedule this job, right? Schedule job and uh, this schedule job needs two parameters actually right so that part we are discussing two parameters job details and trigger information in my previous video what we did is we have built the job information object like this okay where uh, job details are coming from the job builders right so in a similar lens we'll build a trigger and we'll pass these two objects to that uh, schedule uh, job method so that we can schedule any job okay so let's get started on this I have this method called uh, get trigger info of a job which is returning me the trigger and I wanted this to be generic in nature so I am passing the class name directly here and the trigger info object this trigger info object will have five properties how many times the job should run let's say if i give 10 times it should run 10 times directly okay and if i give is run forever means if it is true then irrespective of how many times you given it will run forever okay and in, the in between runs what is the time interval you want to set like one second between them two seconds that and initial offset that means when my scheduler is starting when then how many minutes or how many seconds it needs to wait before running this job we are passing into this variable and info is some text information if you wanted to you know uh, catch we can use that so here i have this variable as well now let's use like trigger uh, builder dot new trigger build right cool now let's add some properties to it okay so first is start it so it initially as we discussed like when my job is getting started it needs to wait some time by you know whatever the time that you are passing on right so that we are setting here new date of here system dot current time in milliseconds place we have that value from here initial offset right so i have passed this cool then i have some other information right these two information i need to you know uh, these three information i need to get right so that also we need to see for that what i can do is with schedule i have a, a scheduler method this let me build it here something like simple schedule builder is equal to builder is equal to simple schedule builder dot simple schedule okay and uh, here here uh, with uh, interval in milliseconds I have this variable right so here uh, what I can do is from the pojo I have one more uh, variable like info dot get uh, interval time interval so that in between every one it will wait that many you know seconds uh, we are passing okay this is done then if I set my uh, if I set my forever boolean to true then it needs to have one configuration if i am not said then it needs to have other configuration so that part we are doing here okay um, with with repeat count see how many times it needs to repeat info dot get trigger count okay then i have is run forever means builder dot here repeat forever is there right 
this part okay now i have built my builder object i just need to pass it here to the scheduler so this way i am using all the values here i know this is as of now is not useful but in near future definitely yes okay now i have two uh, two objects ready for me job details and trigger in order to schedule a job we need a scheduler right so here simply use schedule job of two variables right so in these two variables what i can do is i am expecting uh, i am expecting these two parameters right if i want it to be generic i need to pass them as a parameters for me okay so then let me import my common utils private final common utils let's say common utils okay then let me get the job detail object here directly job detail is equal to job detail is equal to uh, common util dot get job detail of class name and the info okay so i got the job detail now let me get uh, trigger is equal to trigger detail is equal to common utils dot get trigger of a job okay now i am getting the class name and the info so that i can get the trigger detail as well now let me pass both of them to here trigger detail right cool now this let me put it in the try catch so that if any exception comes it will throw here let me pass everything here okay yeah i think our schedule method is ready now cool right now i just need some something uh, which can uh, which i can you know call it here so that i can you know uh, run my job for the first time okay so that process we'll see in the next video okay so that's all for this video guys thank you so much for watching thank you it's me karthik signing off